been in my story and it be shit like that. Uh, All that tough talk, what? You ain't built like that. What? You ain't hop in the shed, man. Bring that shit, man, back. Uh, you ain't been in the... Hey, yo, what up? Be okay, this motherfucker. It's gonna be okay in this motherfucker. So I know y'all wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I pulled up to your boy event. It was a while. You know what I'm saying? It was a while back, a little bit a while back. Not too far this year though. You know what I'm saying? Go go check it out on his page. Now you see? Okay. First thing I wanna say is this is part one. Part two is only gonna be on another platform. I'm not gonna drop it on this platform, you know why. And that's if I get enough requests. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna be talking about uh, what I, what I, what my perception was on what I saw. You feel what I'm saying? There was extra things that happened throughout the event. I'm just not gonna disclose that information in this video. I'm gonna uh, just put what I feel that is necessary for this video. So let's commence and go. So when I was alerted that he was coming to Houston. I was geeked. I was like, your boy coming to A-Shy. I'm finna go see you, boy. What? The God here? What? I'm finna go see you, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, uh, I actually bought the tickets late in, or whatever because it was only a certain amount of tickets that was left, right? And so I had to pay the extra $10 fee. It wasn't nothing. It was cool. You feel what I'm saying? And so, just in case y'all think I'm lying, here got a picture of the ticket. Yeah, I, I, I got receipts. So y'all don't be like, oh yeah, he just, no, I was literally there. Like, I just don't be talking about what I do. It's none of y'all business. But anyways, um, check it out, right? So I'm there, but before I get there, right, I paid a fee, I was late. It was a late fee. That's why I ended up having to pay the extra $10. So I was 15 minutes late. And when I got there, you know black people are always late to stuff. Anyway, when I got there, you feel what I'm saying? It was um, plenty of people standing in line, like 40 people outside. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> your boy in the building, your boy in the building. I can't wait, bro. And so... <laughs> And so what happened was I was looking on my phone at the same time to see what was going on because the line wasn't really moving like that. And what I noticed was, um, it really wasn't nothing that I noticed. I just seen your boy p posting pictures on, you feel what I'm saying, how, how he was doing and how the event was going. And I was late, you feel what I'm saying. At this time, it was like, I'm standing in line for like 20, 20 minutes at this time. So I'm 35 minutes late. I'm like, oh, what? The lecture, bro, I'm finna miss part of the lecture, bro. Like, I'm out of my mind, I'm, but at the same time, that's that's in the inside, but I'm keeping cool. I, you know, I'm keeping my calm. I gotta, you gotta, you understand what I'm saying? I, I, you feel what I'm saying? Feng shui, feng shui. Well, anyway, look, watch this. So, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm waiting in the lines. I see people. Now, this is the only, I've never, now, I can, I can commend this man for this, right? This is the only time I've ever seen black people so disciplined, ever. Like, it was like, like everybody was standing in the line, right? But nobody wasn't saying nothing. Everybody looked good, everybody was doing their thing, but nobody wasn't like, oh yeah, uh, no, it wasn't no beef, no drama, no none of that. Everything was coping steady and it was a, it was cool, you feel what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was geeked about it, you understand what I'm saying? So check this out, right? I'm uh, I'm in the line. I see him taking pictures. I'm like, this man is funny. I finally get in, right? I finally get in and I'm looking around and there's nowhere to sit. And this is why, watch this, go look at the video. This is why I'm standing in the back with that Adidas shirt on. You feel what I'm saying? This is why I'm standing in the back with that Adidas shirt on. Now, if y'all don't believe that was me, like I said, I already showed y'all the receipt, but look at the video, look at this video. Now you see, I've been wearing that shirt for a minute. I didn't have that shirt for like a year now or so, right? So think about this, so not even think about this, but look, so I'm standing in the back, there's nowhere to sit. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody bumping and trying to slide through the ones that's actually getting through the door after me. 
Like, because after me, it was like maybe like 10, 15 more people left, right? And some people didn't even get the chance to get in and sad. Yeah, it was sad for them. <laughs> so watch this, right? Um, when, I, when I was standing in the back, right, the, the lecture hadn't even already started. It was just Angela Statton talking and I think that's her name. She was just talking about how she was, uh, they was looking for donations and if you want to help support the talk tour, you know, she was leaving her cat day or cash app and whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And um, you feel me? It was like, it was cool or whatever, but I was like, eh. But the lecture didn't start, so I'm like, shit, we late. Dude ain't even start. Black people never start on time. <sighs> Throw my hands up. You feel what I'm saying? So finally, what was going on was, you feel what I'm saying? I walk through, I'm sitting in the back, people trying to squeeze by me, you understand what I'm saying? I had let my chair out for somebody else to sit down and they didn't even sit in it. And what happened was, see, this is why, I ain't even gonna tell y'all, but what happened was I ended up getting moved, moved to the second row because I don't know whatever reason, right? So I'm in the second row and I'm watching this man, right? It was like, maybe like 10 rows or so, right? I'm watching the man, and you know, he, yeah, yeah, you know. You know, he doing his thing. He was talking about how uh, people can, um, people can uh, hold you back. He was talking about, really wasn't talking about Bill Gates, but people was asking him about Bill Gates, and he was saying, if you wanna, that thing, he on, that thing, you feel what I'm saying, and, um, Really just, uh, it was just really like a Q&A type of thing. You feel what I'm saying? And, and towards the middle of it, he was like Q&A. Then we had halftime. And that halftime, you feel what I'm saying? But before halftime, let me get into this, right? I was reading, you know, I like to read. Uh, I like to, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really into psychology, right? So I like to read people's personalities throughout their body language. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, people people like to, to 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 hop on people's, you know, wang wang. You feel what I'm saying? He already said it in this video when he was like, um, um, when he was like, uh, I have a million followers. He basically said he was a celebrity. But at the at the uh, at the uh, talk tour, he was like, I don't want to be treated as a celebrity. This is what came out of his mouth. I don't want to be treated as a celebrity. As he shining his grill and. Flexing, you understand what I'm saying? Literally the entire time. I ain't tripping on that. You understand what I'm saying? You feel good. Do your thing, boss man. You good. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody paid to be here. We paid to have a good time. Um, like I said, it was a few fraudulent things that happened there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna expose that on on this platform. It is strictly going on another platform. And when I get enough people that request, I'm gonna I'm release the video. But okay, so you know he doing his thing. I'm seeing Ace Hey Rue there. You understand what I'm saying? And I see a couple other people, right? And while he's speaking, I'm noticing this energy that's flowing off of him. And like I said, I'm just noticing the energy. <laughs> I'm not gonna release it. But at the same time, it was like a lot of people's energies, they were looking up to, they were looking for an answer, you feel what I'm saying? And a lot of answers weren't being given out directly, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it was like, y'all know when the uh, the referees or whatever at the, in, at the end of it, at the end of an NBA game or at the end of a uh, football game or whatever, they come up to the uh, the player of the game and they ask him, so what what was the main thing that has your drive today? And they never really answer the question directly. They always be like, you know, I try to play a good game. I try to just uh, uh, pay attention to my teammates, you know. Uh, like it was literally just like that. It was like never, I'm not gonna say every question was like that, but like, the answers weren't in full detail, you feel what I'm saying? It was just like an overview breeze, you feel what I mean? And um, 
it's hard to 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 not say what I want to say, but I kind of gotta just do it. Um, I was just noticing a whole lot of stuff. You know, it was groupies there, of course. People in the front row doing it, acting retarded. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> It was a cool event, you feel what I'm saying? I didn't really meet nobody because I understood so a lot of the people there were crazy, like literally insane. Like, like it was a dude that was, I'm not even finna expose him, bro, cause he probably watching this video. But it was a dude that was there. <laughs> and he was so crazy, bro. Like he was so insane, right? The dude was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like basically, he pulled out a binder, right? Young Pharaoh touched the binder, the nigga, d bro, he damn near fainted. Like, I'm not lying. He like, yeah, he, he like literally going through the book. He like giving an overview of the dudes. The dude was giving him like um, ideas of what he wanted to do with his life. And he was drawing it out in his book. And he had had this book, binder book, whatever, for like 10 or so years. Oh, he was an artist, right? He had it for 10 or so years and um, basically was just like, a, oh yeah, uh, he gonna look out for him type thing. He was telling everybody to follow him on Instagram and he gonna follow him back. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at halftime, when there was a break, and everybody came up, he was just basically like, come up, shake my hand. And, and that's when a dude came up with his binder. And that's when a lot of people was uh, going up and, and, you know, doing their thing and, and saying and they highs and hellos and, you know, ones and twos. At that time, I was just not feeling it, excuse me. I was just not feeling like going up there, you feel what I'm saying? I did not want to be embraced by that energy, you feel what I'm saying? Not that it was bad energy, but it was just like, it just wasn't for me, you feel what I'm saying? When I, when I realized what was going on, I was just like, wow, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy because, you feel what I'm saying? I came all this way to see, to, and I was expecting something and, and it wasn't what I expected, but what was crazy was he had moved like, as I'm here, you understand what I'm saying? He moves here, you feel what I mean? Not that it was about me, but I just, it's just like, you know, I have a different walk of life, you feel what I'm saying? And I know most of y'all didn't even seen this man in person yet. So for me, it was some, it was it was different because, you feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm on a different path than everybody else, you know? People in this spiritual community, they, they are doing it just to some people want to wake up and some people just, they just like to idolize different people, you feel what I'm saying? And me, I'm just on my own journey. I do what I want to do. I don't care. I just, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to say that the event itself was, wasn't, wasn't what I expected. The talk tour, you understand what I'm saying? Wasn't, I don't know if there was a, 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 a delay or or there was, um, he was doing like different venues before he got to Houston, but when he finally got to Houston, that was it. Like, like I'm in Houston, I'm, and then that surprised me. Like, bro, living in Houston now? What? I'm for the, oh, what the? <laughs> so at the end of the day, did I enjoy myself? Yes. Did I see other things that was fuck? Yes. <laughs> Did, did, was it worth my time? Hell yeah. <laughs> so, you don't understand what I'm saying? For all y'all that's out here that's just internet watching, that's never seen this man in person, that has never got to really physically understand the energy that the man carries, shut your mouth. J j like, like they said on, uh, like they said on, uh, like they said on, uh, uh Step Brothers, just shut your mouth, j j j just shut your mouth, j j j just shut your mouth. Facts. But anyway, family, if y'all want to see that video, um, just inbox me.